anymore. Oh, can't even talk. Can't talk. Listen, let's consider. Oh, look, that's pretty. 5 15 21. It's two o'clock. Yeah, that was brutal getting up here, boy. I don't know if I want to do that again. I will. I'm stupid like that. Yeah, so one of the things I want to do, I got the tripod. I want to get the uh, GoPro Max up and running, get a time lapse going, because I got some nice clouds right now. The other thing I want to do is fly the drone around up here. UAV forecast here, what's he say? Good to fly. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to get for pics up here, that's for sure. So the other thing I wanted to do is the vlog frog pond is not too far from here, too. So if I get bored up here, I'm going to hike down to there. Maybe find some frogs, do some ADD video even. That'd be fun. So I've had this for a while. <laughs> and I lugged this son of a bitch up this fucking hill. And God damn it, I'm breaking it out today. I've been dying to show you guys this. <laughs> you ready? Boof. Look at that. I got the drone. All its landing gear on. This son of a bitch is ready to fly now. Smart controller. We're done there. How do you like that shit? I still have my landing pad though. This case is sweet. I picked it up from Harbor Freight. It's the Apache 3800. Special cutout for the drone. I mean, it's just like stuff you, you like grab it and you pull it. See how it kind of separates like that. I got all my extra props up in here. I got my extra batteries. I got my ND filters. Ooh, that's separated. Spot for this spark controller over there. Works out pretty good. It's a little bit bulky, but it works. <laughs> And that's the important thing. It's gonna be like the quickest fucking drone setup ever. Ready? Boom. Got that. I got the controller. I got the drone. Handled the wind pretty good. I mean, it's pretty damn windy today. I think it said like 17 mile an hour gusts. I mean, as you can see, it's fucking. <laughs> There's that wind again. Yeah, but I'd seen like uh, when a drone was up, he would be doing like a lot of like kind of that. <laughs> it's like, where is going up and down, going up and down? And I was like, eh, he must be comp trying to compensate over and over, you know, because of the wind. GoPro Max is still sitting over here doing a time lapse. Got them all propped up on the tripod. Ain't seen no critters yet. Could be a bumblebee or two, but. Yeah, so this case is pretty sweet. It's the Apache 3800. Watertight, dust proof, pick and pull foam inserts, impact absorbing protection. Strong, secure, easy open latches. These latches are nice. They're just these big heavy duty plastic things, but I mean, they're. They work pretty good. You got. Got a mosquito on me. Adjustable pressure valve. Equalizes pressure for easy opening. It's got this little valve on here. I guess I don't know exactly what it's for, but <laughs> if I ever need it, I'll use it. Uh, pre drilled for two padlocks. It's got these little padlock mounts on the sides. Two of them. But yeah, it's pretty heavy duty. It's tarred plastic. I mean, I could probably stand in this thing, it'd be fine. Patchy 3800. Rugged mobility. It's not too heavy, heavy enough. Can be used for camera equipment, electronics, tools, and valuables. Oh shit, huh? On this side we got open valve only momentarily after changing altitude to maintain seal. Okay. Big plastic case, so <laughs> it is what it is, but it works. It's convenient. It's literally like takes me a minute. Just get the drone set up and flying. I'm sure as hell not complaining about that. 
I think the hardest part is getting it in and out of the backpack, though. <laughs> Out's not too bad, but getting that son of a bitch in there is a little bit of a... It's a little bit of a fight, that's for sure. Doesn't fit in my old backpack at all. But I do still have room for uh, a couple of L lenses. I got my 8-15 to and my 70-200 to in there still. Fit that thing fucking just fits into it. Just fucking fits. <laughs> I'm gonna move my camp. This is like B camp. I gotta move back to A camp. The A camp is in the shade. So I'm gonna move on back over there. Figure out my next move. So this is where I'm at right now. Just chilling out, kicking back. I had some kind of big turkey vulture or something flying around out there. Got the good wind, so I'm guessing something big will be floating around in the jet streams. It's usually what happens, and that's what I'm going for. Easy to do, kick back. Get all of this open sky through here. Put the sun behind me. Yeah, as a matter of fact, my shadow's pointing straight in front of me, so it's perfect. You get 180 degrees either way, pretty much. You get something good. Owls all around me. I can hear them. There's like one over that way, and there's another one over that way. Maybe they're talking to each other because they're both hooing back and forth. Yeah, so I'm out of here. Well, out of this area, anyways. <laughs> I pretty much sat right over there on the rocks where I was, falling asleep and everything else, not enough. It's so nice and peaceful up here. Even with the mosquitoes, it's not enough. I gotta keep moving, <laughs> or else I'll fall asleep up here. Straight out ahead. Alpha beaver. Came out of the woods, I went on to shore, freaking one big splash. A couple minutes later. Oh, there's another one over there too. There's two fucking beavers. Alpha beaver and beta beaver. One is straight out that way. And the other one is right there. Come on, why do you splash? Bastards, come on. Oh, he's coming closer, huh? He's fucking inching his way over here. Fucking prick bastard beaver. Fucking, I go over here to go take a little look. See what the fuck's going on over this way. Prick bastard beaver fucking goes and splashes his tail like twice. Where would he go? Where the fuck did he go? Ain't no alpha beaver, ain't no beta beaver, he's a prick bastard beaver. Take off. I'm gonna go find a beaver. <laughs> Get some beaver buzzing. Go get his ass. battery warning now so I gotta bring her in. Look at that shit, huh? Pulled up the props, tuck in some cushions, stuff them back in the case, close up the case, boom, fucking done. That's what I'm talking about. Drone fucking convenience. Case drone. I'll put away. It's like 30 fucking seconds. All right. Well, I'm losing my light out here, so 
There ain't no fucking activity going on except for these fucking lame ass beavers. They're not as cool as the other beavers. Uncooperative beavers, I don't like that. Got some good drone footage today. I'd say that fucking case works fucking great. Uh, a little heavier than I'd like it to be, but I can manage it. Yeah, it's gonna be about that time. About an hour till fucking sunset. But I'm out in the woods, so about 20 minutes. It's definitely a good day. Got it some good outdoor time in today, because I'm gonna be stuck inside working on guitars like all goddamn day tomorrow. Maybe, maybe some guitars, maybe a little vlog. Maybe play a little guitar, play a little video games. <laughs> it's gonna be a busy day tomorrow, that's for sure. As always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave me a comment, tell me I suck. Give me a thumbs up. I'll catch you in the next vlog. Later.